Well, there was a really interesting article with a set of rebuttals that came out, I don't know, within the last three months, let's say, in something called the Boston Review. It's, what was important about it is a lady who's a, a legal scholar from Stanford wrote about the fact that we don't have free will, that we are involuntary selves that do these various activities. Therefore, you shouldn't blame criminals for their behavior. And then there are all these arguments from various uh, philosophers and various academic institutions and psychologists, and all of them weighing in on the subject. And one guy argues, well, if you can't blame somebody, then you can't feel a sense of pride in doing something decent. Because by the same token, if it's all involuntary, then you can't feel accolades, pride, joy, ambition, etc. And what we're really at is at sort of the interface between the old way of thinking about human beings and a new way. The really the question is, if something is a construct, that in its absence leads to chaos. You now have to decide how you have laws. I mean, I, asked, I, I actually thought about writing a little story about a robotic jury. Because what do you want? Do you want a real jury with all of their qualms? Or do you want a robot who's so going to stick with the letter of the law? And when you think, as soon as you think about it, you go, well, this is not really an obvious answer. You ask people, they, people everybody answers it differently. because. So we're really at a, at a point now where it's hard to fully accept the involuntary construct nature of a self and still have a society. On the other hand, when you have this sense of self being so strong, a sense of uniqueness, you end up with the kind of partisan politics you see now, and you see this kind of know-it-allism and, and arrogance, and, 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 and it makes me so I don't even have a TV anymore, I can't stand it. So the question is, how do you resolve this? So I, and, and, and if it does become part of mainstream, you would have to have a new construct of how to live together. I don't have the imagination to figure that out, though I'm going to think about it.